All right, so now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to set up our environment. We're gonna set up an Express app and then we're gonna render something onto the screen. We're gonna render Hello World, uh, how intuitive. So what you need first is you're gonna need a folder to work in. So I've already got a folder. It's called Node JWT Video. If you need a folder to work in, go ahead and create one now. So next what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to do NPM init. If you don't have Node and NPM, just go ahead and go install them and then come on back. So we're gonna just skip the package name, version, description, entry point, uh, Git repository, and stuff like that. So now that we have that, we are going to have our package.json. So as you can see here, I've got my package.json and it's got some default stuff in it. So we are gonna use ES6, so we're gonna also need some packages to get ourselves up and going. We're gonna install uh, Babel and Nodemon. So we're going to do npm install dash dash save dev because these are development only packages. We're going to do babel cli and babel preset env and of course node mono. So node mono will allow us to hot reload everything. Babel cli will let us use babel and the babel preset env is just the default presets that uh, babel provides. So now that we've got that all set up, we're going to make sure that our package.json has these dev dependencies, which is uh, perfect. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to create our index.js file. Oh, don't call it index.js.js. I'm going to refactor and rename that. So there we go. We have just an index.js file. And with this index.js file, we're just going to right now, we're going to console.log uh, uh, hello world. This isn't installing, or we're not running Express quite yet, but this will get us in a good position to where we're actually ready to go. So now, now that we've got our package.json and we've got our index.js, we are going to create a, a script to run. So we're going to go into the package.json, we're going to go into scripts, and we're going to create a new one called start. And then we're going to do nodemon dash dash exec babel node and it's going to be index.js. So what this is going to do is it's going to run Nodemon, and then Nodemon's going to say, I want to run this basically in Babel mode, and it's going to be index.js. So let's go ahead and try run npm start. Look at that. We have our hello world onto the screen. That's cool. So now we're going to want to make sure that we have a an import of ES6 style, so that way we know that Babel node is working. So we're going to go back to index.js, we're going to do import nodemon from nodemon and we're just going to run it we don't really want to use this we don't we don't really want to use nodemon we just want to make sure that our uh, import or our es6 babel converter is working as you can see now we have a unexpected token import well it's not working because we don't have a babel rc file the babel rc file is going to tell babel uh, what we want so we're just going to want a simple Babel RC. So we're going to, want to create a new file dot Babel RC. And in this Babel RC, we're going to want just an open object. We're going to do presets. And we're just going to do env. So there we go. And now when we restart our, we're going to have to kill our server. And we're going to want to start. And there we go. It ran just fine. No errors this time. Uh, that's perfect. So now we're gonna wanna delete all this. And I think that's good for the first video. We've got a good we've got a good handle on getting our server set up. In the next video, we're actually gonna make a git and a post request, and we're gonna show some stuff on the screen and get started with Express. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.